Hello everybody. Another day of the shoe. Working on it right here. Um, I got some details on it. I let it sit in my in my box a little bit. It's still soft, which I want. It's still malleable, it's still workable. There's some details I'm gonna add it to it. I'm gonna go through this whole process with you. So you can kind of see what I'm doing a little bit and understanding what I'm going through with the whole process. You can be able to understand when I'm making the shoe. I have to add some details back here. I did some carving, but I don't like how it came out, so I'm probably gonna come back, add some clay, and make this look like it's standing up some more, and then some more details and stuff like that. Get the shoelaces, holes put in, make the shoelaces themselves, and all that stuff as well. So that's what I'm gonna work on today. Kind of go through this whole process. So let's, uh, let's get rolling. see here I'm uh, going back adding details to the shoe cleaning up my edges marking where the, the, the loopholes are going to be all that stuff there will be showing up on there I'm adding some extra final finishes before I really begin to work on the shoelaces really getting on the shoe kind of finalized a little bit with the details making sure it mimics and has the illusion of what the shoe is supposed to look like is what I'm working on there so that's kind of what's going on here when I work on the shoe before I start adding the shoelaces As you can see here, I'm using the back of a stick, whatever you want to use to kind of give the grain or the, the, the stitch marks that show up on the uh, on the shoe as well. It just gives a little more definition or completion because the shoe is sewn together. And I'm trying to give that look of the clay as well. It doesn't have to be as perfect, but just kind of give a rough estimate where it's at. can see here looking at it, I've got the slab rolled out, now I'm adding texture for the shoelaces. That's the next thing you gotta do is add a little texture. That way to flatten out a more than a quarter inch. And I'm ready to go on the next step. 
Once I have texture added to my piece, and now I'm gonna go through and get to cut out my uh, shoelaces. So I cut out a strip, I have something nice and straight, which I can do it with. So that's what I'm working on right there, cutting out nice strips, ready to put together for my shoelaces. Once everything's cut out, I begin to add my shoelaces to my front of my shoe. I'm not making one big piece, I'm making small pieces. So I'm gonna cut, score and slip them, try to get them blended in there, and I try to mimic what's going on with my shoe. I'm using the vinegar in the holes, vinegar, you know, everywhere, kind of blending, smushing, getting that shape in there to make it look like the shoe itself. I'm adding some texture on the top, trying to mimic what the shoelace looks like. This is a very tedious project. It just takes time, you gotta measure, figure it out, try to mimic what's going on with the chilies. There's no quick way to do it. It's a piece at a time, layer by layer. As you can see here, I'm using a little back of a stick, whatever you can to help add texture. It also helps press in the clay as well, kind of help force it to stay on there, which helps out a little bit. Every little bit to help get the clay to stay in place is really important so they don't fall off in the end. As you can see, I've been building it up, getting it to where it needs to be. Uh, kind of going back in, adding the details, pressing the clay down, make sure it works. This is like the last final stage of the shoe right there I'm working on. I'm just getting the last little parts on there. When I add the last little laces, I'm going to them kind of droop on down and really touch the shoe in a couple spots so they're less likely to break off. I also have the little tabs at the end of them when I'm done. And yeah, just kind of working out a little bit, but I'm really making sure it's really well blended on there is what I'm doing. So kind of pushing it. Up there. I have little loop gaps if I want to be directly all the way, but it's better not to have your shoelace hang off the edge. Always kind of keep everything secure in one spot, less likely to break. See here I'm working on uh, the bottom of the shoe, getting placement, using a loop tool, ribbon tool to carve it out. I'm also blending in the bottom so it's nice and flat, so it's you know looks mimics the shoe a little bit better and stuff like that's what I'm doing there. So I'm trying to really get that shoe to look like the bottom. I'm making a sculpture in the round so the bottom needs to be treated just as much as the top. If you notice there as well, I have the piece resting on a piece of foam. Uh, towel work, something like that, so don't crush all the work I've already done on the top of the shoe. This allows me to kind of wrap up, finish up, decorate in the bottom, so I can make it look like it's supposed to, and kind of give it, the, you know, the finished sculpture look to it, so it looks like one complete shoe. As you can see on this sculpture piece, I've done uh, addition, manipulation, and subtraction. So all three things we've talked about earlier are showing up in this shoe, which will show up in all your sculptures throughout the year. All right guys, well, just kind of end the video a little bit with the shoe. There's a little more work I can do on this, and I may or not do it because it's more of a demo piece. But here's my shoe I started off with. Uh, it's not too bad. Um, not too bad. 
You know, I haven't done a shoe in a while, but it gives you kind of a rough idea what I'm trying to do. I'm trying, like I said, make this a whole sculpture in the round. So as you saw, I did some stuff on the bottom, got the trim around the side of it. It's kind of there, and the whole shoe's kind of wrapped up and finished up. This. It's a little bit close. I've seen some of your guys' pictures. Yours look a lot. I bet some mine's coming out. I had little trims, little things on there, added some textures, try to get that look of a shoe I'm trying to go for here. So your goal is the next couple weeks, that this week and part of next week, we're really gonna start focusing and, and working on trying to get this shoe done is really what we're working on here. Looking about wrapping it up, and then we're gonna move on to our next one, our next project there. So that's kind of what we're looking at right now, and uh, yeah, I um, might do a little more smoothing on it, try to finish it off a little bit better. You know, trying, but I think it's not too bad. For a shoe I knocked out in a couple hours, yeah, not too bad. So you just keep working on it. I'm looking how well you uh, do the shoe yourself, how well your sculpture goes, how well everything kind of goes for your piece, and all that stuff as well. Like I said, I'm still kind of trying to figure out certain aspects of my shoe that may not be there you know, all the way finished yet. So I just found something else right now. And just kind of begin to work your piece a little bit more, kind of look it over one more time. I recommend like, like I did wrap it up a little bit, walk away from it, you just kind of see where you're at. And you might you might have made your stuff. You might go back and go, yeah, I can do this a little bit more here and do this more here, and then you're good to go. Keep it in your damp box. If you want to, you don't have to wrap it up. Just place it inside there on top of the board and let it just sit for a little bit and let it slowly begin to dry out. Yeah, that's a little bit more. A little more shape, a little more up to it. So, anyways, got your shoe. Keep on working on it. What I'm looking for a grading this, I'm looking at how well you modeled your shoe from. Look at it there. Looking at how well you added certain textures to the to laces. They have a certain kind of realism feel to them. Uh, stuff like that. I mean, my little shorts don't break. It's always good to attach them to the shoe. That's likely to break. How well did you make a sculpture in the round? Did you try to attempt to the bottom of your shoe? What all the stuff you try to do to finish it up? That's kind of what I'm looking at. Do not forget one very important thing, as I do in my work, make sure you sign it. So I got my initials on there. I know it's mine. Let's have you finish up your shoes.